Hey, boss. Got another one for you. Davidov? Connor, just uh, thought I'd call for a catch up. Wait, wait, wait. What time is it where you are? Doesn't matter. I wanted a report before the race. Ah, right. I did ask them to send across all the data to you. Perhaps they forgot. I'll make sure to. Um... No, no, no. I've got it all here. Busy man, Andrea. I don't have time to read all that. How's it all look? Uh, the car is running well, data solid, whole team seems confident, and based on the forecasts, we're sticking to the original tie strategy as we discussed, so we'll see. Good. And the boys? Keeping to themselves. So no fireworks. Aiden's been a little quiet, but that's usually a good sign before a race. And Devon's... Uh... I've already spoken to Devon, he's good to go. Oh. Right. Well, keep up the good work. Good luck. I'm sure we'll speak after. Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes?
Another pit stop here at Suzuka. This time it's Aiden Jackson coming in. He's been making steady progress today and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results and they could do without this. And look, there's chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels on the car at the moment, Crofty. Aiden Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, long time to wait. Just sat in the cockpit. What is going on down at Connor Sport? Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car, and Aidan Jackson's back out in the race, but it's a long time in the pit, and that will cost them dearly. What was that? How many places did I lose? OK, try not to worry about that, Aidan. Just focus on the race, get your head down, and let's put it back. Uh, I'm sick of this! Five seconds.
Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 2.8 seconds.
only got two laps of fuel left. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Well, it's still too close to call at the top of the table. Meanwhile, at the other end, at you can really understand Aidan Jackson's frustrations today. Yeah, they've had car problems all season long, Crofty. They've had a bad mix-up in the garage today. Connor Sport won't be proud of that one. And Connor Sport won't be proud of that. It's the longest pit stop we've had this season. Not the sort of record any team wants to set. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Well, Aidan, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to ask. That pit stop looked like a nightmare. So what on earth happened today? Yeah, well, we know that every race has a hiccup, so you can just never tell when it's going to happen. You just got to be ready and roll with the punches. I guess on the plus side, a mess up like that means that this mistake will never happen again. Well, there is a lot of talk on social media about whether Devon is actually getting preferential treatment by the team. So do you think, is there any truth to that? Or is it an unfair assumption? Uh, Devon struggles to keep up sometimes, so maybe he could use a little preferential treatment. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, whatever helps Devon helps the team. It's it's fine. Well, Aiden, the list seems to get longer. Car reliability, you and Devon bumping wheels, and now issues in the pit lane. Huge mounting problems at Connor Sport. Has there been any talk at all about what the team might do next season, considering that you and Devon just don't seem to get along? Yeah, I've been thinking about next season. But who knows what the future will bring. At the moment, it's all about Connor Sport and bringing in as many points as I can. And finally, I've got to ask you about this. It has been reported that Mercedes have agreed a deal for George Russell to play a small part in the latest Throttle Zone movie. What do you make of that? Yeah, that sounds like a great opportunity for him. The Throttle Zone movies, they're, they're amazing and they have such a massive fan base, so it's, it's great to see them acknowledge F1 in the way that it should be. And I think George is the perfect pick, so can't wait to see what he does. Appreciate it. Thank you.
talk to me. About what? You saw the race, right? What is there to say? Thought you could do with blowing off a little steam. <laughs> what is even the point in wasting any more energy? It's not the car, it's the team. It's not the team, it's the car. No one seems to care how much effort I'm putting into all of this. Which is why you need to double down. Listen, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but the top three are talking, Aiden. What? What? They've already reached out to us. Looks like there might be some last-minute negotiations on the cards, but keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No doubt there'll be some wrangling. You're contracted for another season, but your um, tenacity has been noticed. Wow, uh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. You're not supposed to know. I hate to admit it, but Connor Sport can't keep up with you, Aiden. Just do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. What is it? I need you to push as hard as you can to get as much out of you before I lose you to a better team. Can you do that for me? Of course. No problem. Good boy. You know I'm here whenever you need me. Speak soon. <laughs>